This is the drinking bird. It is an uh, ornamental toy that works thanks to several physical principles. It consists of a little bird that oscillates around an axis of rotation. The little bird leans over little by little until it touches the water with its beak. If the water is replenished each day, the little toy can be working in perpetuity. The bird consists of the following parts. Ether deposit. Ether is a very volatile liquid that is, it evaporates easily. Long tube, axis of rotation, and absorbent beak. To make it work the first time, you have to give the little bird a little push or put your fingers in the tank to raise the ether. Thanks to the back and forth movement of the little bird and the temperature of the room, the ether evaporates. The ether vapor presses on the liquid ether in the tank. When pressed, the liquid ether rises through the tube. As the ether rises through the tube, the bird's center of gravity rises and moves away from the axis of rotation. A couple of forces is created and it makes the little bird lean more and more. When the little bird goes horizontal, part of the liquid ether goes down into reservoir, the ether vapor rises through the tube to the little bird's head and, in contact with the wet beak, condenses, turning into liquid ether and start the game. Two curiosities. One, in summer, the little bird moves faster than in winter because the evaporation of the ether is faster. Two, the little bird is not a perpetuum mobile, that is, a perpetual motion machine, although it looks like one. The perpetuum mobile is an impossible machine, as it pretends to have infinite movement without absorbing energy from the surroundings. The little bird absorbs energy from the environment around it. 